something weird. When I was younger, I said to myself, I would really just like to have a career where I'm able to combine my love of film and art and popular culture, and never really knew what that job would be until I started working at Something Weird Video, and I feel really fortunate and blessed to be able to be doing what I do. Are you kids make me sick? Something Weird Video is a nostalgic vintage mail order company that specializes in exploitation films from the 1930s through the 1970s. A lot of the films that, that we have were popular in drive-ins and grindhouses from mid-century through the early 70s. Probably one of the best known is Blood Feast. The crowd would gather at the temple for the great feast. Confessions of a Psycho Cat. <laughs> oh, really? Bad Girls Go to Hell. I didn't they're about as low budget as low gets. The ship collided with a planetarian rocket. The company was started in 1990 by my late husband, Mike Farini, when he discovered what a VCR was and that he could actually record movies off television. The first titles that were out on home video were all bootlegs. By the late 1980s, he got the idea to actually try to find films that hadn't been released on home video. So he came into a cache of films up in Everett, which were mostly adult movies for the time period of the 1950s, like Girly Loops and a couple of exploitation feature films, and he released those on home video. That's interesting. Back in uh, August of 2012, Mike had been sick for a few months. So we went to the doctors, and he was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. I think he never really thought he was going to die, but he did. They gave him a year and a half to two years. He died in a year and a half. During that time, we talked about what was going to happen with something weird. And you know, he's just like, well, just shut it down, you know, sell it and go off and do your own thing. But after he was gone, and I just realized that I couldn't do that. It was just way too important to like keep his legacy alive. A lot of what I do on a daily basis is ship DVDs. So uh, these are orders that are going out to needy customers who are eager to get some DVDs in the mail. You know, Something Weird Video is basically a mail order company. We're making DVDs and we're shipping DVDs. That's the brunt of it for the most part. Cutting the covers by hand is about as lo-fi as it gets here. I've had people say, oh, I'd love to work for Something Weird. It's not all you know, go-go girls and gorillas and psychedelics. Uh, it's, it's just drudgery for the most part. But then I realized, well, other people don't think that. They, they think it's pretty great, so I, I should count my blessings. Tell me something about yourself. I come from a little town in Ohio. Yes, 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 I understand. In addition to running something weird, I'm also a pop artist. I haven't been working on my art for a few years because obviously I've been focused on this. My art is definitely inspired by Something Weird video and all of the stuff that Mike and I collected over the years. They're very much symbiotic. Well, this is where the magic used to happen. I would do my paintings in this room, and these are a few from the last couple of years. And over the past decade, I had some other things come out, like these dolls, and I published a book through Dark Horse Comics. Now, that's what I call art. In one of the cool projects that we recently did was an actual record album. So this is actually, in my opinion, this is the best side of the record that we're listening to right now. It's side A. Thanks so much for coming tonight. Something weird. Greatest chance record release party. We dug deep into the film vault to pick some of our favorite songs for this record. The liner notes are super fun. I mean, there's a lot of really interesting information in there and wait. stuff. I guess what I'm most proud of is that I've been able to keep Mike's vision alive. And when it comes down to it, that's the most important thing. I mean, if it wasn't for all of the hard work and joy and determination that Mike had over the years, none of this would exist. So I'm just gonna do my best to keep things going for as long as I can. Oh, but it couldn't have been one of the kids, Lieutenant.